Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. I found something really interesting. For my final theater-going experience of 2015, I went to see the new Adam McKay-directed film, The Big Short, that is getting a ton of buzz at the Golden Globes, as well as from critics from across the board. The movie stars Steve Carell, Christian Bale, Brad Pitt, and Ryan Gosling, and it talks about the story of a whole bunch of different people who were involved in the American economy, noticing that there wasn't something quite right with the mortgages and the banks, and they all felt that there was going to be a serious collapse in not just the mortgages and real estate, but in the entire economy and possibly going into global dismay. And they all went on a crazy scheme to create the big short, which was to short and go against the banks, against the real estate market, to make sure that their investors and themselves did not end up where the rest of the American people and even the world's people ended up in 2008 when the economy had seen its worst recession since the Great Depression. And this movie was something that I was very interested in seeing because of the fact that I worked in finance at the time. In 2008, I saw it all happen, and it affected my industry as well, working in the financial sector. And just to know that this led to everything from bank mergers to layoffs to unemployment to people losing their homes, it was a very, very dark time in the economy. And it was a terrible thing to actually witness this movie and know that there were these people that were trying to not only save their asses, but also feeling neglect that they couldn't help the rest of the world because they sat with these bankers, they talked to these brokers, they all knew that they were screwing their clients and they just didn't care. And no matter how many times these individuals tried to get these events exposed to the press, to the American people, nobody wanted to let them in because they were all in bed with each other and they all knew that there was going to be a serious serious implosion of epic proportions. So I really enjoyed this film. It was very, very interesting and very unique because of the way that the film was actually portrayed in its production. I appreciated the fact that it actually broke the fourth wall a lot. I appreciated how they tried to do a metaphor of how all of these people that fought these subprime loans didn't understand it. So let's let Margot Robbie or Selena Gomez explain it to you in a way that you can understand. I found that that was a very unique way of filming. The acting was really driven by the story because the story is the main force of this film. It is so powerful and sometimes very earth-shattering when you see all of these events unfold, and the acting is brilliant. Brad Pitt is amazing, Christian Bale is phenomenal, Ryan Gosling is hilarious, but I think the person who really stands out in this film for me is Steve Carell. I've known him as a comedic actor. I know that he was up for an Academy Award in Foxcatcher, but I just had to see this for myself, and my god, Steve Carell is a phenomenal actor, and I hope that he gets an Oscar nomination for his role as Mark Baum because I really appreciated his character. I also love the fact that how all of these individuals were not necessarily working with each other but actually using the ideas that they found through one another from strange sources and how they all had different motivations. Christian Bale's character just wanted to do something right because he knew that something bad was going to happen. Steve Carell's character was a guy that has always been trying to stick it to the man. Ryan Gosling was someone who was in the midst of all of this and he said, I'm going to do what all of my associates are not doing. And that was something that I really was impressed by with this film. But I don't think it's going to be a movie that everybody's going to enjoy. I wanted to see this movie because I knew about all of these historic events, and I want to actually see these things portrayed in the film, because I do appreciate films that revolve around finance because of my former work experience. So, it's a very good film. I think that it's very entertaining, very funny. I didn't expect it to be very funny, especially when it comes to such a heavy topic such as seeing the downfall of the economy, but I highly recommend that you see this film. It is very well constructed, a little 
unorthodox, which is what makes it very interesting, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of Oscar buzz from this film. So, is it a movie that I want to see again in theaters? No, not necessarily, and I don't think it has as much rewatchability as I would like it to, as opposed to a movie like Boiler Room or The Wolf of Wall Street, but if I saw it on HBO, or if it was on demand, or on Netflix, would I watch it again to show friends and other people who may not have seen this movie? Yes, I would highly recommend it, or definitely watch it with them. So I am going to give The Big Short 3 out of 4. I appreciate the fact that you all came to watch, I appreciate the fact that you all watched all of my reviews of all the movies I went to see this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the season finale of Up From the Underground, but until then, actions speak louder than words.